Good morning, guys. I wanted to make a quick little morning video um, regarding a few things that have been on my mind, what I'm seeing and hearing on Twitter and just online in general. And it really breaks my heart. It breaks my heart for several reasons. <clears throat> Number one, people that have been prosecuted, ridiculed, judged, looked down upon for a very long time are people that are now doing the same to each other. You look at maybe 40, 50 years ago, being part of the LGB, T wasn't really uh, the letter yet in that alphabet soup that we have put together. Um, but I lived through the time where we were pretty much looked down upon. There was a lot of violence. We had to do things in secrecy. Now that we have been fortified so much freedom to be who we, we are, to walk life with our heads up without having to hide who our lover is, as we did back in the day. We couldn't even put pictures of the ones we loved because being gay or being a lesbian wasn't okay. Now I see the same group of individuals looking at like the gender crit, the feminists. I'm seeing that now in gay men, which are fighting against the fact of what it means to be a homosexual. And if a trans guy identifies as a gay man or is in a relationship with a gay man, which there are many trans guys with gay men, unbeknownst to some of you, those in the group that are fighting against the fact that trans men can't be gay men, or if, if a man is with a trans guy, he's not gay. Y you've got, you know, your story all wrong. You have your, your views skewed some way or another. We, we all are doing the best that we can, walking life the best way we know how. But how dare you tell someone who they are or who they're not? Women have been fighting for years for their equality and liberty, but now they, they poo-poo on trans women, not wanting them to be part of the club, having your, your womanhood taken away from you because a, a trans woman identifies as a woman or a trans woman. What are we, two years old? Listen, I've been hit by gay men since I came out since I transitioned, knowingly that I was not biologically born a man, they still hit on me. I've had gay men wanting to have intimacy, intercourse with me, knowing that I don't have what the biology that makes up a man. but they still wanted the masculinity, what I represent. Are we that superficial? I mean, I understand there are people that have preferences and I'm not talking against that. No one should be forced to be with anyone and no one should be calling anyone transphobe or homophobe. Those are like children terms. But for these groups of individuals that I have found on Twitter, to be making fun of trans guys because they identify as gay men or because they, they're attracted to men and obviously they've transitioned to express themselves in a masculine form. Why do you have to be a stumbling block on people? Why do you have to be so cruel? Why do people have to make fun of people? These detransitioners are constantly making fun of transsexual females or transsexual men and constantly putting stuff on their page to create strife. Why do you think you speak for everyone? Why are you saying, Scott Nugent, that transition is not life-saving? 
It may not have been life-saving for you. Your life got turned around because you got a raw end of the deal. Your surgery went bad. Your girlfriend left you or your wife or whatever. But now that you're bitter, you have to try to put everybody under the bus. The same with Kristen Beck. All of a sudden, you found a girlfriend who's Christian, and now you've become a Christian, and now you're like spewing all sorts of Christianese and putting everything down that has to do with transsexuality. Listen, I've been there and done that. I understand that hurt people hurt people. But we have to take the time to understand that you hurt once upon a time too. That you face discrimination. It was hard to be gay or lesbian back in the day. It is so much easier now. Why are you trying to make it harder for the rest of us? It's not cool, man. It's not right at all. So you're trying to tell a gay man that is in a relationship with a trans guy that he's not gay. When this man has identified as a gay man or these men have identified as gay men all their lives or whatever, just because they fell in love or were attracted to a man like me does not make them any less gay. There are plenty of transsexual females in relationships with lesbians. Yes, unbeknownst to you all. That lesbian is not any less of a lesbian because they're attracted to the trans women's femininity, her, her presentation, who she expresses, who she lives as. I wish people would stop these stupid gender games and gender wars and all the stupidity and feminist fighting and all that stuff. We have enough issues in the world to face than to fight each other. If you have nothing nice to say, then say nothing at all. If you're so bitter and angry and frustrated inside, go for a run, meditate, lift some weights, do something positive in your lives. But stop messing with people. I love you guys, but remember to always love yourselves too and each other. Bye-bye.